Get ready to be swept off your feet as the cinematic world witnesses a groundbreaking phenomenon that is Gadar 2. With an astounding gross domestic collection of over 450 crores and counting and a jaw-dropping gross worldwide collection surpassing 500 crore rupees, the epic sequel to Gadar Ek Prem Katha that is Gadar 2 has taken the industry by storm. This juggernaut of a movie isn't just a film. It's a cultural phenomenon that has reinvigorated Indian cinema. Remember the emotional roller coaster that was Gadar? Well, its sequel has matched its predecessor's glory in full fervor, painting the silver screen with an even more vibrant and enthralling palette. The magic doesn't stop at box office numbers. Gadar 2 has accomplished something beyond financial success. It has united smiles on the faces of audiences and distributors alike. Yet, the story has just begun. The triumph of Gadar 2 is more than just a cinematic spectacle. It holds within its frames a treasure trove of corporate wisdom that every filmmaker, regardless of their region or background, should definitely absorb. So join us as we delve into the mesmerizing saga of Gadar 2 and unlock the secrets that can transform dreams into reality. He is a spent force. What can Sunny do? It's time Sunny retires. All these arguments went for a toss when the soon-to-be 67-year-old actor came out all guns blazing with Gadar 2. Of course, there is the nostalgia factor and the fact that the Gadar franchise holds a special place in the heart of every Indian. However, the one myth that the film dispelled for good is the age factor. If Rajini Kant can make a comeback with Jailer, if Kamal Hassan can pack a punch with Vikram, how can Sunny Deol stay behind? Another thing that one must learn from Gadar 2 is respect your product. Sequels are no new to Indian cinema, particularly Bollywood. However, very few have the tenacity to wait for long to deliver a better product instead of making something for just for the sake of it. Gadar 2, however, didn't have such dilemma. The makers waited for more than 22 years just to get an entertaining product. Of course, it's not without flaws, but think once, is Gadar far from entertaining? Definitely not. In the end, it's the product that matters, not the cost. There are folks like Karan Johar who are of the opinion that unless you have splurged a minimum of 150 crores, your film is not even worth it. Films like Kisi Ka Bhai Kisi Ki Jaan and Rocky Arani Ki Prem Kahani with budgets of 180 crores and 178 crores respectively cut a sorry figure because of the same exorbitant budgets. We haven't even touched the ultra legends like Adi Purush and Pathan as of now. Compared to them, Gadar 2 was made in some 80 crores, which is slightly more than medium budget movies like Satya Prem Ki Katha, Zara Hatke, Zara Bachke and definitely cheaper than Ajay Devgan's Bhola. This is where Indian filmmakers, especially the big wigs of Bollywood, need to learn a lot. If people are ready to come in droves for your film, using every mode of transport possible, your film definitely has a spark. The makers knew that they were catering to the length and breadth of the country, especially the interiors and not just those five to six major cities. The ticket price would be less, but the footfalls would be exponential and that would take care of the rest. The ATP of Gadar 2 was less than rupees 250. But the footfalls it is generating is giving even the likes of Dangal and Pathan a run for their money. Every product worth its salt has a USP to it. Something that distinguishes it from everything else and just can't be replicated. A 21 gun salute to the person who conceived the hand pump scene and ensured that the USP lives on for next two decades as well. Also, whether the trailer was strategically conceived or just cut the wrong way, it did make even the naysayers pleasantly surprised with the final product. Way different from a rather average trailer. Another corporate lesson for the Bollywood filmmakers is let your product do the talking. Imagine a movie like Rocky Rani Ki Prem Kahani that is struggling to even recover its costs domestically and earns a baffling rupees 137 crores worldwide. This is where the corporate bookings come into the picture, making up for the rejection faced by the makers back home. This tactic, however, neither worked in the case of Brahmastar and Kisi Ka Bhai Kisi Ki Jaan, nor did it work in the case of Gadar 2, because to be frank, the makers of Gadar 2 didn't even need it. 11 days of theatrical run and yet the film has not collected anything below 5 crores. 
The next time anyone says such yawner won't work, such types of films are outdated, think again. In the past, Bollywood focused on a wide range of viewers but started favoring urban and refined preferences, leaving behind the classic action-packed yawner. But Gadar 2 changed this very belief by showing that such movies are still captivating. Against conventional ideas, the film's fearless mix of action, love, emotions and patriotism has truly connected with the people. Gadar 2's impressive victory shows us a path that links the past and present, seamlessly blending nostalgia with pure entertainment. The lessons we learn from its success prove that tapping into beloved characters, stories and timeless cinematic charm always holds great potential.